Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you may be shocked at the prices. Sometimes we can't even afford to buy the food that's there, even if it is well stocked. Lentils are a great option to have in your long-term food storage stockpile, your prepper pantry. Lentils are like beans. They are going to give you a lot of protein, but you don't need to soak them. You just need to cook them. They can last for decades. You just need to pour them into a clean jar, put on the lid, and seal it up tightly. You can buy lentils in a one pound bag. It's an affordable way to add food into your long-term food storage stockpile and your prepper pantry. One of the things that I've been doing is storing extra clean jars that I've cleaned out very well, allowed them to dry completely, and then I'm using them to store smaller amounts of foods like rice, beans, lentils, split peas, foods like that. Another thing that I've been doing lately is storing meals in a jar. So today I'm gonna to show you a very simple way to make a lentil brown rice soup mix that's in a jar. And depending on how you make it, it can be a vegan recipe. And sometimes finding vegan recipes for your food storage stockpile can be a challenge. To make lentil brown rice soup mix in a jar, you need one cup of lentils, one half cup of brown rice, one half cup of split peas. For seasoning, you need one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of onion, one tablespoon of garlic, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then two servings of bouillon. Now, if you want it to be vegan, use vegetable bouillon. I'm all out, so I'm going to use chicken bouillon. If you're all out of Italian seasoning, don't worry. Here's a picture of my recipe, and I also have a video I've made on how to make your own Italian seasoning. So if you don't have some already mixed up, use this recipe and make your own. Maybe you saw my video where I had a big container of Italian seasoning and something weird was growing in it. So always be keeping an eye on your seasonings and spices and be inspecting them from time to time. Into your jar, add your cup of lentils, half a cup of brown rice, a half a cup of split peas, and if things aren't quite fitting, tap it down and it'll settle into the nooks and crannies and then there's room for your spices. Now top it with one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, Oops. one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of onion, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of bouillon. Put on the lid, tighten it up, and it's ready to sit in your pantry. Lentil brown rice soup mix in a jar is so simple to prepare. You bring six to eight cups of water to a boil, add in the contents of your jar, and a can of tomatoes if you'd like, Simmer it for about 30 minutes and your soup is going to be done. How simple is that? Now because it has spices and brown rice, this is only going to last in your pantry for about a year. So don't put these away for 30 years. You can store the lentils themselves away for 30 years, but not a mix. Once you add other ingredients, it changes the dynamics of the food and it's something in there could go spoiled, become rancid, and then it contaminates everything else in your mix. So use these within one year. Perhaps I should have used a little larger pot. <laughs> 
So look how yummy that is. I prepared it with six cups of water, a can of tomatoes, and it's actually been simmering about 35 minutes. I wanted the lentils and peas to get a little bit softer. Depending on the consistency that you enjoy your lentils, uh, you can cook it a little bit longer if you want to to make things a little softer. I simmered it as is without a lid and look at this, it's delicious. If you like it more like soup rather than stew, you can always prepare it with eight cups of water, but this is the consistency that I enjoy. Look at that, it's so good. It's very filling, it's nutrient dense, is delicious. If you have leftovers, you can store it in the refrigerator for a few days, and you could even freeze some smaller portions if you wanted to have it later, if it made too much for you to use up within a few days. Leave us a comment if you have other ideas of what you can have on hand so that you are prepared to face whatever comes your way. And give us ideas so that we can learn from each other on how to make the best of what every day will bring. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.